Good day to everyone. My name is Mr. Cordell Halley from the Division of Culture, and I will be your drum co tutor. Today's lesson entails naming the basic parts of the snare drum, knowing how to wear the strap and drum the correct way, and knowing how to take care of your snare drum. We will begin with the different parts of the snare drum. Batter head, top head. These fit on top of the drum, which you strike with the stick. Snare side, bottom head. This is the thinner head. This area is not struck by the drumstick. It has a wire stretched across it. Counter hoop. This is the metal ring that holds the head in tension over the shell. Multi-angle carrying bar. Attaches to the hoop and tension rods of marching snare drums to easily carry on a sling. It is designed to fit drums with slightly different spacing between lugs and gives you multiple places to clip your marching sling so you can get the best comfortable angle. Lugs. These are attached to the shell and comes in different styles. The tension rods are screwed into these. Tension rods. These are threaded bolts that screw into the lugs, holding the hoop in place, thereby giving the head tension. Shell, a round resonating body that is the drum. The head sits on the shell which amplifies the sound. Snare wire, this metal wire is stretched across the bottom head giving the snare drum its distinctive sound. Snare strainer, throw off. This device holds the snare wires tightly across the bottom head. Leg rest. This device is mounted onto the snare drum or the tenor drum. It protects your knee from the drum. Proper wearing of the snare drum. There are many different snare drums that high schools and community marching bands use. You can identify them by the different brand names they carry. These brands include Dixon, Yamaha, Pearl, Ludwig, that's just to name a few. Yamaha SFZ. This is a Yamaha SFZ marching snare drum. This drum is not for practice sessions or regular playouts. We use these drums for special performances or playouts. This is a Randall May marching carrier. We attach the carrier to the snare. Now, while wearing the drum, we have to be careful not to lean back because it can cause tension to certain parts of the drum, thereby causing it to break. It is highly important to have the correct posture while wearing these drums. This is a Dixon snare drum. This type of drum is very old. I am not sure if they still make these. We use these drums for regular practice sessions and playouts. This is a Ludwig snare sling or strap. We attach the sling onto the side of the drum. Then we attach the other part to the carrying bar. The drum would naturally hang on your left side. We need to adjust the strap to stop we attach the sling onto the side of the drum. Then we attach the other part to the carrying bar. 
the drum would naturally hang on your left side. We need to adjust the strap to stop the drum from shifting while we are marching. I have seen players constantly trying to shift the drum back into its correct position while marching. That only happens if you are wearing your strap on the wrong shoulder or improper marching skills. The proper strapping up and maintenance of your drum. Adjust the strap to its required length to suit your preference. The sling or strap goes over your right shoulder. The hook should be in front of you and the clip should be behind you. You would look and feel uncomfortable if the strap is worn on your left shoulder. Taking care of your drum is not that difficult. Basically, wipe it down after use. Occasionally, the hardware gets rusty or parts with screws stop moving properly. So wipe the set down as much as possible. The piano polish called Piano Unicorn is remarkably versatile and can be used for polishing fittings, shells, and cymbals. Drums should be kept dry or dried as soon as possible after getting wet. They should be stored in an organized manner and in a way that they are protected. Carriers should be removed and stored separately. Store the drum cases if you have them, but if none are available, then storing the drums on carpet or some other kind of pad which will help protect them. Drums should not be used as seats, nor should things be stored on top of them. Stacking the bass drums on top of one another in a tower should be avoided as it can harm the heads. In addition to this, the drums should not be rolled across the band room or field. A tenor drum or bass drum should never be played with a snare stick. Today, we learned about parts of the snare drum, proper wearing of the snare drum, how to strap up, care, maintenance of the drum. The next lesson will be description of the drumstick, gripping the stick, types of grips, traditional and matched. Thank you for tuning in and I look forward to teaching you our next lesson.